I'm back. Where am I today? I'm here again. My fabricator. Third trip. What are we doing? Roof rack. Here's the general plan. I'll clue you in on what we're going to try to build today. We got about 17 foot box, but about 15 feet that I can use up there. So we're going back 10 feet, 12 foot inches high. Nice big storage box. I'm 85 inches wide, so that's huge, right? I've got a vent and an air conditioner going into that middle of those boxes. It'll lose some space with that. And then on top of that, I'm going to mount solar panels. So we're just going to get the base built today. My, my cool plan, though, is I'm going to hide this roof rack. And how I'm going to hide it is... I have to double check something. Sorry. I'm going to hide it with sheathing that matches the truck. White aluminum. So it's going to look like just the extended height of the truck. In fact, I'm going to try to carry that arch up there back into that. So that's going to be a little bit of fun trying to get that to, to the front of that to just move, basically move the whole roof line kind of right up 10 feet back. After 10 feet, the last five, five and a half feet, I'm going to step it down because it just doesn't need to be that high all the way. Um, I probably could, but I'll step it down just so I can put a, a comfortable, easily to reach from the ground uh, deck up there, which will just be covered with cedar, something light, dry, old cedar. You won't even see it. Uh, and so that I can come out through my, through my skylight and get onto that and not have to go through a whole foot. Uh, and again, keeping that lower gets light into that skylight, and I, so I won't be obstructing the view out of that skylight. So all thought ahead. I just happen to think about all kinds of building materials I might need for that, so I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, not going to use a lot of it. Uh, I got extra left over from a project. So there, that's what we're doing today. We're just getting started. That's a nice stack of dimes right there. Let me see if I can focus on it. Yeah, that's sweet. So that's the base. Let me see if I can fix it. So that's the base. We flipped it back over. It's the right side up. Now we're doing the right side rail, passenger side. And then we'll do the driver's side. Overall, foot high, 10 foot long because the solar panels are going to be 10 feet. 
and all that area becomes big storage box area minus those two holes. So I think that works out good. Before we put the side rails on, it weighs on maybe 50 pounds or less. So still really light. And this stuff we're adding, aircraft aluminum, pretty light too. Just not getting heavy. This thing maybe is going to weigh 150 pounds tops. Not bad for 17, 15 feet long, seven and a half feet wide. That's going to work out good. And then of course, these rails, full two inch, flat, full length, right to the truck, all with VHB tape. That ought to hold it.
Okay. Love being able to do this and be involved with my fabricator and being able to be here in the shop. And the reason is, uh, standing here looking at this while it's down at ground level, and I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to use this? What am I going to do? And thinking, all right, I'm going to lie down right in this area here and stargaze. And, and I'm like, well, well, what if I, the sun, what if I pull in and but the sun sets in the other direction? You know, what if I want to look the other direct forward instead of back? And, and I got to thinking, like, originally, I was going to put this up six inches. But now, I think I'm just going to go the full foot and run my decking right down to the bottom. So I have this nice 10 inch, 11 inch side rail to uh, hold me in, lean up against. I can still use it kind of for a storage area, for top away things if I want to, that it would be, again, it, they'd be exposed to the outside elements. But, uh, and the only catch is, is like, I was gonna put something on the back here, you know, put a back piece across, but probably not gonna do that now. I think I'm gonna wait on that even, because wind resistance, I don't want that catching. But I might test it, put a piece of wood there, something I can take in and out, something like that. Um, so if I want something there, I can do it. What I also like about this idea, right, so my deck drops down to my base level here. That gives me a 10 inch rise right here to lean up against. So I can lounge right here, bring a cushion or pillow up, boom, sit here and have a beer. Watch the stars. So I'm liking this. This thing's coming out really good. Uh, it, it, and it was fine. We caught it just in time for fabrication. We only have to make one little notch cut to make this work. And the crazy part was I had scra a scrap piece that was the exact length. We didn't even have to cut it. So it's almost like it was meant to happen. Which seems to happen a lot when as I do this thing. I find things like that all the time. Like, oh, perfect fit. Don't have to cut it. Let's use it. So excited about that. So we still we got this, this side rail is almost done. We're going to add these extensions on now. And then we've got to build something across the front because I'm sheathing the whole thing all the way around the front and the sides so that it looks like it belongs on the truck. Uh, but it's getting there, and it really is pretty cool. It is not that heavy still. It's pretty cool. Loving it. Worth the, worth the extra. So that, the top of the solar panels. That's the back side of the solar panels. One of them, one of three. Actually, maybe one of five. We gotta mount that on there, and it has to hinge both sides. That's my trick here. So I want this solar panel to go up. So that no matter which way I park, I got a 50-50 chance that I can lift my panels up in the morning and pick up sun, or in the evening. Uh, and get the maximum amount of, of solar uh, wattage out of those solar covers. So, uh, I'm in the North Country, you gotta do that, I think, because we have very limited sun uh, in the winter up here. And so, if I get a little in the morning, I gotta take it while I can get it. Uh, and I can't be charging at 20% of its capacity, I gotta get the most out of it. So, we've gotta figure, we figured out a system to lift from the middle, Got to come up with a hinging system so we can hinge from either side and obviously join these panels together. They're 55 pounds a piece, so that's kind of a heavy, heavy set, uh, and it's got a lift. And then eventually it'll get two more panels probably added to it. So we'll be pushing the 280 mark. 
before you know it. Uh, and then of course the wiring has to run. Now what I got lucky with is the wiring for these panels is in the center instead of at the end. And it's awesome so that I know my length is going to be the maximum based on the lift that we do and uh, I'll be able to wire for that much easier than if it was on just one end. One day that you know the end would be low close to the, you know, the truck the other day it would be six feet up in the air. So this worked out fantastic um, and I guess you know maybe that's the way things go lately for me. That was an accident. I had to get settled for different panels. Uh, I couldn't get the 435 watt panels I wanted. Settled for these at 420. Local guy. I was able to buy them locally. Better price. I love doing shopping locally when I can. Um, and I got that feature. Going to help me. So there you go. All right. I'm going to put you on hold while we start mocking this up and figure out how the heck is this going to work. Next step, we we'll start mounting the panels up and creating the jack for it, pivot points for that, and then the locking mechanism. That's today's schedule. So it's another day, moving forward.
So, we're getting there, progress. We've got the base figured out. As you can see, we've, we've done bracketing, the pivoting points, and now the last step is we've got to mount this motor. It's supposed to come with a set of brackets. It didn't, so making our own. Uh, and we just got to weld it to the pin because that's the only thing that doesn't move. And so custom bracket to hold that motor. We tested it, it moves really fast. You're gonna need to slow it down. Um, I don't think I want to raise those panels that quickly, <laughs> but uh, that's cool. I can control the speed of it. And uh, if I need a quick up or down, I can do that. We're getting there. All right, so that is the center lift point. So it just goes up and down and it has to pivot. Now we're working on the hinge aspect of this. Hinges on both sides. So what we need to do is we need to raise this up because we have to have a lot of room for a half inch because I might end up putting some sliding panels that slide out from underneath. Uh, and I need to allow for those panels to get in here. So this stock, that I had is an inch and a quarter. That's an eight. So we're just an eighth inch off. We're just gonna uh, weld onto here, round stock that's gonna actually gonna come off that a little bit and down, and we'll have our inch and a half inch clearance right here for another panel that goes in and out. And then we'll do the same thing, but for a, a traveling lock, which locks all four corners. In this case, this first pin we're putting up uh, only one side's locked at a time, so that when, when you lift the jack, you have one or the other side pivoting, hinging. That's it, pretty simple. All right, so we're making progress on the hinge and the whole lift mechanism. It's uh, fairly complicated. So what you're looking at here down the center is the lifting channel. So all the panels sit on top of this, three panels bolted together, and we lift using the jack down there. That gives me a good, 30 inch lift, which really gets the panels to about 45 degrees or close, thereabouts, more than enough. Again, I, this is probably overkill. I got commercial panels. Really benefit of lifting them or tilting them is early morning, late afternoon, and I'm doing it because I want I can. <laughs> uh, I'm at it, it doesn't cost a heck of a lot more to do, maybe a little bit, but it's worth it. Uh, two, some days you just you know, might only have the sun in the morning. And I can't wait for the sun until 10, 11 o'clock for the sun to kind of be, you know, 60 centimeters on my flat panels. I want to lift them up, get that early morning or late afternoon sun and take advantage of it. Uh, and I'll get maximum uh, wattage out of those panels that way. <coughs> so the panels need to hinge on both sides. That's the fun part. And so first, get the hinge built. And then our mechanism for locking them is kind of ingenious. Uh, when one side's locked, the other will be unlocked. That's for tilting. Those are my tilting hinges. Then I have a traveling hinge where all four corners are locked, period. And at minimum, uh, you know, I gotta put a safety switch on that, I guess, to make sure I know that they're locked, because this is, again, nine feet up in the air. I gotta be really careful with to make sure I know that it's really locked. It has to be something that's really solid. So those are actually gonna be, I think, spring-mounted. And 
natural state will be to be locked. And so a little solenoid will pull a cable and it will unlock them. And again, I only need to unlock one side with the side that's being unlocked for the tilt. Complicated as hell, I know. But we're getting there. You'll see it when it comes all together. Maybe I'll be able to explain it better then with pictures of it actually being done. We'll see. First tab. Oh, that's awesome. It's going to look good. Yeah. That's a lot of panels, my friend. <laughs> 420 watts a piece. Holy crap. Hold on. Go slow. I ain't got a choice. Yeah, that's not good. No. She's lifting that your whole yeah. back end, not this end at all. So here's a fun lesson. We tried jacking up the panels now that we've got them mounted with the one jack, which is not centered, and it doesn't work. It did want to twist. Too much weight on one side, too much twist in the panels. We were hoping that the panels would be a little stiffer. Not the case. So we're mounting a second jack. So same exact method, just further down, again, off center, um, not even really at the third point, but hopefully that with the channels and everything that we're using, Hopefully this time it'll be stiff enough. Now, the fun part is, you've got to sync those two jacks up. So, a couple different ways of doing that. Motor, maybe able to adjust the speed, because if you get two different motors, they can run at different speeds. Length of the wiring between the source and the, all that can affect the speed of the motor and the timing. The other option is to put a chain between the two and just link them up. So, we'll see, got to figure that out next.
All right, another day. We're making progress every day. If you're watching this video, I'm thinking this is this segment that I'm taping right now is part of a whole series on that, my roof rack that went up yesterday, late yesterday. Thank God it was just warm enough to do. Uh, I didn't get a chance to narrate any of that, I'll tell you what was going on, so I'm gonna kinda give you a, a, a recap of what happened. So we got the whole thing built yesterday, along with a couple other little fun projects I'm gonna show you real quick we did. Got the rack mounted, we tested it with one motor, with one jack, it didn't work, we had to put a second one in. Uh, had it, so it's all good. I just don't have the motor for that, and I don't have any of the wiring figured out. Uh, I gotta put a rheostat in to adjust uh, the speed on those. I'm gonna use that to adjust the timing as well, I think. Hopefully, I, by adjusting the speed of each one individually, I can get them so they open consistently. And I have to put limit switches on all that. So that thing has to shut off as soon as it's all the way up. It has to shut off when it's all the way down. In fact, it can't even come all the way down. I actually am using the jack to lift it up and hold it level a little bit, hold it square. And that's holding the panels down as well. I am still pinning one side and locking that down as well for what we call a travel lock. Um, so we tested all that though, it all works. It's gonna be fine. Uh, obviously. It's, Lifting solar panels is a, a scary thing in a windy, on a windy day, so you're careful about doing that. So I'm gonna get up there and uh, check that out today. There's a few little things we didn't finish. I've gotta wire that. I've got a bunch of, you know, all kinds of work to do, so I cannot put the siding or the sheathing on that I want, but I am running white aluminum down the side and along the front so that it looks like it blends right in with the truck. It's just gonna look like an extra tall truck box. I'm hoping it kind of looks factory. I think that was a great, a great idea because, you know, it doesn't look bad by itself, but if I can smooth it off, close it in, it becomes a storage box up there too. And nobody will know what's in there. Now the back part up here, which if I can get you out of the sun here a little bit, you can see is open because I can go right up there onto my deck or I'll be able to go up through a future skylight right in there and go up onto my deck. So that's how that works. 